Hi guys, welcome to Terribly Accurate. It, whether you're new or you've been with me watching these videos for a while, go ahead and check out the description box below because there's a big thank you there and then also um, links to other things that are helpful like how to find your moon sign, your rising sign, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I just want to get right to your reading and um, it's interesting because the last couple days have been really hard, a lot of frustration with that Taurus moon and like anger and stubbornness has kind of played out for everybody. Um, work conflicts, love conflicts, all of that. Well, today, all about love. And so whether you're single or you're coupled, doesn't really matter. It's going to apply for you either way. Now, the first card that I pulled is actually love. And this is a new deck. We've got a few new decks, but this is the only one I've kind of made my own so far. And um, what this one is about saying that love can manifest itself in lots of different ways. Um, but... Uh, today, this is about like that sexual love. Like, yeah, every day we should show love to our friends, to our family, to our kids. But today, that's what we're doing. So today is about like having genuine, like passionate love making with your partner if you have one. Um, you know, being there, being a good listener for them, like really deep consideration for them, cuddling, big hugs. Um, so if you meditate, there's daily affirmations with this, just like we do with the color energies. And what they are is, um, may I appreciate and value the subtleties of true love making. Mm -hmm. Okay, how fun. Um, may I always treat my lover with the utmost respect. That's hard to do sometimes, right? Sometimes they know how to push your buttons, but let's really try hard with that today. Um, greater sensitivity and awareness will lead to greater satisfaction. That's really something to focus on. Um, the most profound joy in lovemaking comes from giving joy to another. Remember that. Interesting, huh? So, um, whether you have a partner or you do not have a partner, these are still affirmations that you can say to help attract one. Okay? Now, this is interesting that this is coming up because... Um, these whole last two weeks, like I think I've said in a couple different videos, like I'm so sick of talking about the law of attraction, but so many of us need to hear about it. So many of us need to use it more, me included, totally. Um, but what this is saying here with the cheetah is get clear on your intention, stay focused, and then move quickly to achieve your goal. So really think about what you want in a love partner. Um, and then say it out loud, think it in your head, and just have faith that it's going to come to you, okay? Because we want this. Everybody wants love. Babies, newborn babies, they don't thrive without love. You know, they did all of these experience, or, um, experiments in the 50s, and, um, like, they don't live if they're not cuddled. So, um, yeah, if you want to bring love into your life, these are good affirmations, um, but you have to really think about what kind of love do you want in your life? Do you want a partner who's faithful? Do you want who's silly? Do you want one who's um, career focused or more of a homebody or a party animal? Like you got to like write all those things down and, and focus on them. Think about them often so that you can bring it in. Um, so Plum, here's the thing. Um, we had this one last week. We have been in the purples for a while, like trying to get in touch with our intuition, you know, our third eye chakra. Um, but it says, overcome your confidence. Now, it's not surprising to me that it is plum and not a heart chakra color, like a green or a pink or, you know, anything like that. Because this color in specific is about devotion and commitment and challenges in relationships, like taking it to the next level, really committing to someone, showing them your heart. Um, it's about cre creating deep bonds and friendships as well, or um, family relationships, but also with your partners. So, um, you know, how are we going to overcome challenges in our love relationships? You know, with this card here, with the loved one, well, we talked about those affirmations, treating them with respect, um, finding joy in doing things for them, um, appreciating the little subtle things, okay? So our affirmation for this one is, Divine Spirit, please use this plum ray to guide me through any challenges that I may experience with ease, grace, and softness. So um, let's try to make our relationships a little bit easier after this last Taurus moon. Let's try to um, have grace. Let's try to be soft and patient and kind with our partners today or um, just with other people. 
Because if we can be like positive and um, patient with others, if others can see that in us, they could be attracted to that, right? Um, so how do you use this? Just imagine like a plum ray of light shining over you and you can um, breathe it in through your, you can imagine it coming in through your third eye chakra, going through your body. The way I like to do it is to have it like kind of go through my body and then imagine it coming like out of my feet and surrounding me like a big plum bubble. But up to you, you could wear plum, you could eat a plum, um, plum flavored lip gloss or, um, or um, you know, plum lotion. I don't know why I'm getting lotion. Like, I feel like Bath and Body Works or something has a plum line. Mm. Anyway, so today, um, if you have a partner, try to make them kind of your focus, the focus of your day today. Okay, go out of your way today with them. Um, if you don't, get really clear on what it is that you want. Okay, so you can start reeling in that love. So, love and light. See you tomorrow for your daily reading. Um, bye.